tonight. Bill? Cam, Bill Flynn describes himself as a, quote, firebrand conservative who's unafraid of the media. He also says that the days of go along to get along Republicanism are dead. Our veterans did not fight and risk their lives, and some lose them, for us to embrace socialism and Marxism. Flynn says he's not an alarmist by nature, but believes America has reached a tipping point, both politically and economically. He blames the president for leaving the country in what he says is a dangerous direction. You mentioned that you believe that the president is a Marxist. Do you really think that Mr. Obama is a Marxist? My view is that uh, the president is, in fact, an intelligent man. And, and does, in fact, ha want to remake America in a different image. The problem I see with it, it is not the image of America that the Founding Fathers had for us. The 53-year-old Tea Party candidate says he wants to abolish the EPA, the Department of Education, and the State Department. He also wants to stop the president's health care reform plan. It's not about helping people become healthier or better off. It literally is about controlling the lives of every American from the perspective of the government. That's why we have to take seriously the accusations that this, this leadership that we have in the White House and in the Democrat Party is, is socialist, Marxist leaning. There's no question in it. Flynn's best known for his years on Magic Radio. He says the relationship he built with women during that career will help him in the primary. He says women who may not like his politics still trust him. You like your chances of beating Howard Goldman? If I didn't think we could do it, uh, I wouldn't be asking people to join us. I asked Bill Flynn about the uh, GOP presidential race. He says he hasn't paid a whole lot of attention to it, but says that he would most likely support Rick Santorum for the candidacy. Did he give you any indication as to why he is getting into politics at this stage of his life? Well, you heard a little bit in his piece here. He kind of lays it out there. He thinks the country is in real trouble. He points it out. Marxists and leftists are really taking the country down a dangerous path led by President Obama, and he believes that he is a conservative voice claiming that Howard Coble is not conservative enough, raised uh, the debt ceiling several times during his career. Bill Flynn, and uh, for that matter, so Billy Yao and Howard Coble, all seem to be racing to the right to see who can be the most conservative candidate, which makes sense at a primary because the core voter for the Republicans who are going to turn out that day are going to be more conservative. I think you'll see perhaps more movement to the middle as you get to the general election. Yeah.